later, knowing that all was now completed. And so that the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it and put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant and lifted it to Jesus' lips. And when he received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, that was the day of preparation and the next day was to be a special Sabbath because the Jews did not want the bodies left on the crosses during the Sabbath they asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken down and the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with Jesus and then those of the other but when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, breaking a sudden flow of blood and water. And the man that saw it had given his testimony, and his testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth, and he testifies so that you also may believe. These things happened so that the scripture would be fulfilled. None of his bones would be broken. And as another scripture says, they will look on the one they have pierced. Later, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. Now, Joseph was a disciple of Jesus but secretly because he feared the Jews. And with Pilate's permission, he came and took the body away. He was accompanied by Nicodemus, the man who had earlier had visited Jesus at night. Nicodemus brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds. And taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with the spices in strips of linen This was in accordance with Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden, a new tomb in which no one had been laid. And because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and the sense the tomb was nearby, they laid. 